Hello, I'm back and let's continue making a, a desk for this monitor uh, scene and lights as well. I'm going to move it back and we're going to start from making a table by clicking cube, resize it, make it thinner, wider and I want to match edges to, to the grid like this because I'm going to use edge loop tool and I want edges to be equally distanced. Shift, right click, insert edge loop tool and grid is helping me right now to choose where I can put my edges. Q, take it out from this mode. Let's go back to perspective view. Choose faces. And let's extrude this. W, Shift, Extrude. Object mode. Put it on this bold line, like it's on the floor. And monitor as well. But it's not on the table. So let's move it. And this monitor looks gigantic for me. I'm going to resize it. I think it's better. W to put it back on the table. And next thing is that we're going to create walls. We can make a chair as well, but I think you already know how to do it, so why not try it? And we gonna jump to creating walls and floor at the same time. So I'm gonna choose plane, resize it, and I'm gonna insert edge loops. This time I don't want to be precise because I'm just, I'm just having fun. Q, faces, so I'm gonna click this one to understand which side it is. So select this one, shift select this one and this one as well. W shift extrude. And now if we render this and what render does, it gives you final image. We go here to IPR and click. Nothing is visible because we don't have lights. But if we have chosen Maya software, I think it will have given us something. Let's. Yes. Maya software shows us uh, what we have. But we need Arnold Renderer. And for Arnold to show us what we, ha what we have here, we need to create lights. So go to Arnold tab. Click this first one, Arial Light, move it up. Arial Light has a line, and this line should be directed towards the object and not up the sky. We can resize it. Now, if I render this, something is visible here, right here. I don't think you can see, but there is something. And to correct it, we can Go to Arial Light tab here and uncheck Normal Lights. We already see something, but we also can check Normal Lights again and increase intensity. I'm going to type 100. And our objects are visible now. I'm going to duplicate the lights. Control D, W, move. And do a little trick, go to panels, look through selected, and it does what it says, it looks through selected, and we're gonna look through this light and put it here. Go to panels, perspective, choose perspective view, and this time I'm gonna change the color and use color temperature. Let's decrease it and make it a bit orangey. Render. And we already can see 
orange light coming from this side. Let's duplicate one more time. Ctrl D. Move, rotate. And this time I'm gonna uncheck use color temperature and use color from this menu. Click it and maybe we can use light blue. Render. And we have two lights coming from different sides. What we also can do is to add some texture to this. For example, to the table. And of course we can import wooden texture or something, but then we have to need UV mapping and unfold things and it will take a lot of time. Let's just learn how to change the color for this table. Right click. And we have here three menu related to material, assign new material, assign favorite material and assign existing material. I always choose from assign favorite material and I have a, a eye standard surface here, but you might not. So to add eye standard surface here, we're going to go to assign new material, choose eye standard surface, but I have already uh, added it. So I'm, I'm just going to click on something else to show you. Right click and add to favorites. And this is all. So let's choose Iceland surface. We, we should name it. Always name your textures because um, when you have a lot of them, you will forget which one is for which object. And then you have to figure out one by one. So name them and table will be enough and change color. Render. I'm going to decrease reflectivity a bit. So we go to specular and maybe can, we can put it in the middle. Okay, it looks good. Let's close it. Always delete history. I just remembered that I had to, I have to delete history. And let's do something about this monitor. First of all, we have to separate it. And let's start with the stand. Right click, assign favorite material, eye standard surface, find eye standard surface 2, uh, and monitor stand. And we can choose something from presets. If we click, look how many presets we have here. Wax, velvet, rubber, milk. But let's just choose chrome. Render. It's too shiny. What we can do, we can increase roughness. You can also play with all of this thing and make um, it look a bit better. You can go through every menu and see what does what. I like it the way it looks. And we can now do something with this leg. And in this case, we're going to use existing material because stand and leg should be the same color and I have one to stand here and this is how it looks. Now it's time for the screen itself and first things first I'm gonna extrude this part because probably you remember that screens are a bit back than the edges so let's choose faces Shift select, double click, double click, double click, and check. Nothing else is selected. W, shift, extrude. Let's see how it looks. Good. Let's change color for this. Maybe this time we can choose Lombard and make just white. And we need a wallpaper. I have already downloaded a white screen wallpaper and we're gonna put it right here. Faces, do the same steps. But always check Right click, assign favorite material, eye standard surface, and this time go to 
a checker box next to color, find file, and press this folder. Find your images, and I have in my downloads, and I have two here. This one didn't work out because it was a bit stretched. Uh, it was not made for widescreen monitors, so I, I found this one. Now you can't see anything, but middle of the box and light there is checker. It shows us the way everything is textured. So if we click it, our screen is visible, but looks so weird, right? Look, what the hell is this? This is not the picture we saw. And here is where UV mapping steps in. So we go to UV editor, UV and UV editor, and what I'm going do next is to select faces again, check, go to UV, it must have another menu as well, and this is the one we want, nothing else, only this cream part. So to separate it from this big something is to go to cut and sew and create UV shell. Click and drag. We can drag now here. We can now select this shell, drag and put it back to place. R for a size. Minimize it. Object mode and look, this is what we wanted. Render it. We also can change the color of the walls. Let's do that. And you can import a wooden texture for this floor, just selecting the faces because this, uh, this part won't need any difficult UI mapping. Right click, I standard surface, walls, make it this kind of, and decrease specularity so it won't be shiny, and render. Let's make lights a bit brighter, maybe 300. And it looks much better. You can change the color of the lights. You can make one of them red, for example. Why don't we do that? Red. This looks really weird now. What the hell? But anyway, this is how we um, change color for the lights and everything else. Thank you for watching and see you soon.